In this video, we're going to take a look at some of the issues surrounding security in WordPress. The page we're looking at right now is part of the WordPress Codex, and it's called Hardening WordPress. And we're going to cover most of the things on this page, though not quite all. So if you're really interested in some of the finer details, you should read through this whole page. But we're also going to look at a few of the things that are not on this page. One of the first things I want to take a look at with you is automatic updates in WordPress. WordPress does automatic security updates, which means you don't have to do anything to make them happen. The page we're looking at here is also part of the codex, and it talks about configuring automatic background updates. But here under core updates, it points out that there are three types. Core development updates, which you probably don't want because they're not stable. Minor core updates, such as maintenance and security releases, which you absolutely want and are automatically turned on for you so you don't have to do anything. And then major core release updates. These are not automatic because they bring in a brand new version of WordPress. And you may not want to do that without watching so that nothing breaks. So my point here is that security updates happen automatically. You don't need to do anything to make them happen. So if somebody finds a security flaw in WordPress, it gets patched and your site gets fixed without you even having to do anything. Now that said, when there's a brand new version of WordPress, it won't do it automatically and you absolutely should stay up to date with the latest version. WordPress core is really quite secure. Anytime you read an article talking about how insecure WordPress is, it's almost always dealing with plugins and themes written by third-party people who may not be the most security conscious. Now, that doesn't mean all plugins and themes are bad for security. It just means that you should be aware of who's making them and what their skill level is. And we'll talk about that in a few minutes. But the next biggest security problem in WordPress is passwords. If you make simple passwords, your site will almost certainly get hacked. That's just the way it is. So you want good, complex, difficult to crack passwords. Now, if we click Add New on the password on the user page, when you're creating a new password, it doesn't ask you to set one. It sets one for you, and you can view it. And it's big and long and difficult to remember. I recommend you leave it like this or that you use some sort of password manager that creates something equally difficult. Now you can ignore this and you can say I want to use something really simple like password and it will tell you very weak and you can say I know I don't care and confirm use of password and just add new and then you have a weak password. This is not advisable. If you have a weak password your site will probably get hacked. Now, if you're the only user on your site, it's easy to enforce this. Just don't set a weak password. But if you have multiple people on your site, and each of them can set passwords, then there are steps that you can take to make them use a difficult password and not do a weak one. Here's a plugin called Force Strong Passwords. And it doesn't add any new user interface to WordPress. It merely makes it so that this confirm use of weak password thing doesn't work. You must put in a complex password so that this ends up being strong. Then your users must use a strong password and they cannot put in a weak one. The next most common attack vector is plugins and themes. And the easiest way to stay out of trouble with this is to keep your plugins up to date and delete the ones you're not using. Right here, I have one that needs to be updated, so I'm simply going to click Update Now. There, now it's updated. Here at the top, I have a Kismet installed, but not active. I'm not using it, so I'm simply going to delete it. And now it's gone. Now all my plugins are up to date, and I don't have any that I'm not using. You should do the same with themes. I don't have any that are out of date right now, but if I did, they would have an update button just like the plugins do. And then of course you want to keep WordPress up to date. Right now I'm using WordPress 4.7 RC1 which is the absolute latest. 
but if you were behind by a version, there would be a button here that said, please upgrade WordPress. And you want to do that. You want to stay on the latest version. Old versions are the ones that get hacked. Once you're up to speed with common security usage like good passwords and keeping your software up to date, there are some plugins that you can install to help prevent some kinds of attacks. Jetpack has a built-in security feature called Brute Force Protect. Now a brute force attack means that somebody is trying to log into your website over and over and over and over by using a computer to do the logging in, which means they can do it many times per second and they just use random usernames and passwords that they downloaded from some other site that got hacked. Now they may never break in, but the mere fact that they're trying over and over again can slow your server down and make your site seem slow and just generally give your users a bad time. Brute Force Protect helps stop that. After a certain number of failures, the person trying to log in gets blacklisted and they can't try anymore. Now, this means that if you fail too many times, you could get blacklisted and you don't want that. And so they have a whitelist management area, so you can put in your own IP address, so you can forget your password as many times as you need to. So Brute Force Protect doesn't keep you from being hacked, it helps keep you from being attacked. And if you stop the attack, then they're much less likely to break in, and they're much less likely to use up all your server resources and annoy your users. Another plugin I want to draw your attention to is from Sakuri. Sakuri does a variety of things, including cleaning up after you've been hacked. But this plugin that they offer is for scanning. It can scan your website looking for malicious software to find out if you've already been hacked. And it can make recommendations on things that you can do to prevent being hacked. It looks at your settings and configurations and suggests changes to make. It also checks search engines to see if you've been blacklisted for malware and lets you know of that before your users do. And one last plugin to show you is called iThemes Security. This comes from iThemes and was formerly known as Better WP Security. And this does a variety of things, many of which I've already discussed. It includes forcing strong passwords. It includes a Sakuri scan. It works with Sakuri. It can look at your file permission settings to make sure they're proper. It can look at your SSL to make sure it's configured properly. And it makes recommendations on things you can change. This is an excellent plugin, and I really recommend it. Many of the things that it does can be set and saved so that if performance is a concern for you, you could turn the plugin off and the settings that you set can remain. That said, I recommend leaving it on. So let's take a look at what we've covered so far. I showed you the hardening WordPress page on the WordPress Codex. There's a lot there and it goes into a great deal of detail. I recommend you read through it. I also showed you the automatic updates page. There probably isn't anything there that you need to work on or change, but it's good to know that it's there. We talked about having quality passwords. These are very important. If you don't have quality passwords, your site is not secure. We also talked about forcing strong passwords. If you're the only one on your site, it's easy to enforce. Just set a strong password. But if you're not, I recommend a plugin to enforce this. We looked at one in particular, but there are actually many that do it. We talked about keeping your plugins, themes, and core up to date. This is also very important. Make sure they're up to date, and if you're not using one, simply delete it. And lastly, we looked at some helper plugins like Jetpack, Sukuri, and iTheme Security. I don't recommend running more than one of these at once. That will not bring you more security. Pick one that you like that solves the problem you're having and use it. I like iTheme security because it does many things, but sometimes that's a problem. Sometimes you don't need many things. Sometimes you just need a single solution to a single problem. In that case, look for plugins that solve that problem. If you follow these common sense rules, your site will most probably never get hacked. I can't promise you'll never get hacked because the world is an ever-changing place. New flaws and security issues are found every day. But the recommendations we've outlined in this video will help you stay ahead of those. 
So stay strong, keep things up to date, and be safe.